hello and welcome to this new series you guys um it's Timothy and I'm doing this series about basically I'm still for the football and I'm like basically I put together a team of like our best new players and stuff so basically I hope you guys enjoy this and please please do subscribe like and share and like and then basically see me football and I'm here with content Okay, so welcome to Single Days. I am your first episode, but I will be keeping you up to date news from around the second world and closing the copy out. Not the top 10 news podcast article on your point. Yang takes charge in the news. In very recent days, I've been in the comments that Timothy Yang is a good man coach. Eyebrows have been really involved with soccer. No man of the night, who is really spent time away from club soccer. And he is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time in the new park. That is not why I'm saying. Yang has put together a big Yang has put pen to paper and he needed to do work on the six gate a week. The British previous head coach was a really famous thing because of my this this week they were in a good club from this week. Yang got the reputation of the type specialist, which, given the club's current ambitions, creates an intriguing dynamic with the intent to turn for the middle of the So basically, I put us in the uh, Sky Bedroom 2, which is in the English system of the ball. So we're currently playing at fourth tier. I want this to be somewhere like a road to glory, where we can rise from the bottom and go to the top. Um, so now, I was going to give you a call. These are some of the kits I created. The big thing in um, resemblance to the ones that they presented that they are presenting is putting together the name, green, purple, and gold, the school rather. Right? And I created like this um, kind of third kit, kind of just to like contrast it basically. Um, we will be located in Wolverhampton because I realized that there aren't too many ninja clubs there. And so it was like this whole feel. I actually thought it was somewhere like London or Manchester or Liverpool. But then I thought that it's a bit more than just something kind of like that. So, yeah. In general, I predicted to finish third this season. And uh, the my team is generally it's hundred for success. So now let's see the squad. Um I'm sure you can already see some familiar faces here and some names though. So let's let's do it. Go we have the algorithm okay. shout out to my boy. Um he will be immediately uh First goal keeper now, he's 26 years old. On the amount you are speaking that most these stats, ages, and countries are not serious with buying, but basically generally rather than by game, they just put in the players and the positions. So please don't <laughs> buy my head off. Um, he's got some good stats on him, and he'll most likely be a major goal keeper. He will be bringing from England, although his girl looks out of here. Um, back of goalkeeper we have is Ignat Young and Chris Preston. He starts to do some person with him, he does have uh, higher potential, so it could be like a rotation between Ignat Young and the Perry and Waka. We have both of them in England. We have Bogu and Chukka. The third choice goalkeeper, he might be a bit fuller. Perhaps anything at this point, the media will be here. Then, next pair of habits is Fiat. I'm doing it on TCRF. I think I need a pair of cuff or something. I've got two. So, um, yeah, he will be a striker, a right wing, and attacking the field yeah he has some good stats really good stats and I'm liking that yeah. um, 
Okay, yeah, we have a team Mano. He's from Scotland and he actually has a beard in the game. <laughs> so one of the options are right back, center back and engine midfield. Although maybe if anything happens, he might be able to fill in a left back. Potentially, and yeah, in two year old status in two months. Next we have the wall for walls. He's gonna be basically helping us in the field. <laughs> the Algerian, yeah. This was generated in game to all of you though. This new generated in game to for us. We're <laughs> from Algeria. Yeah. You be this big thing field first this season, although you might play out wide if you need it. And yeah. Next we have <laughs> The big man up top, more a good luck. You might be our major striker this season. Yeah, you will be doing strike most of the time, although you will still be able to play at the right wing. Just leave him there. Next we have um, for the camps. <laughs> Who's that? This Ash. Even your Portuguese is one of our high rated players. <laughs> really high potential. You got some good stats on it, and in case you didn't notice, I put this very treats here, so, so I tried like capture every player's greatest um, match point entirely, three seconds for <laughs> and I put his guys in attack as well, and I put his aggression on 18, and I think we all know why. And next we have the Kuenai Kanoyo, yeah, <laughs> he's got my hairline. <laughs> yeah, he's from Ireland, 23 years old. He'll be going for some mid and on the right. He's young. Next we have Kapo Mark. He's 24 years old and from Northern Ireland. He's been to play defensive midfield and center midfield. I was actually kind of thinking of putting him as center back, but I kind of realized that we had a lot of options there. But in case anything happens, we'll see if we can change Mark into center back if he needed it there. Um, next we have Ruben of Melvin, who will be able to play at left back and also at center back. And yeah, yeah. he has one in negative two. I was just asking about this cross of the man. So Melvin basically doesn't trust me anymore. Yeah, he'll be a mark and yeah, no. I think he'll be one of our major choices at center back. Next we have a Tiku Moka who is kind of bold and has a mustache. Um, anyways, he'll be one of the players for the future of these 20 years old. And he's from Germany. From Germany. As like I said before, most of them are generated in the game. So yeah, two star, not the highest to be able But hopefully you can still improve. Yeah. Uh, next we have <laughs> the big man, Ogo Mobiaga, who is actually from the Netherlands. According to the game, yeah, I'll be able to play on either wing and also be able to play up top of striking. Yeah, I got that good pace on him and a good job in his touch. Yeah, so uh, that's Mobiaga. Next, we have Charles of the who's a real black man from England. Yeah, I'll be able to play on the right wing and through the middle as an attacking midfielder. So, hopefully, he'll be one of those players who can drop in and uh, Make an appearance once in a while. Next we have Kuchuku Opa, who will be one of our major center backs, trying to help us. Him, Melvin, I'm trying to see if I can build a partnership between two of them, trying to get them working together. So he might be one of the solid center back duels. I'm actually not sure on what foundation I should play. I should play three defender formation with some wing backs. Or maybe I should do something like four defender, four for two or 4231 I'm actually not really sure you guys can help me out comment below and just tell me what formation you think would most suit this team next we have Bukwe Samo who is actually I think one of our best players here anybody want to buy him he will be from Wales 
and you basically have striker attacking each other and here so basically just our attacking guy you can play this guy more of f4 and uh he has some pretty good stats on it kind of well rounded and uh put himself to use him next we have hitia but he's actually from <laughs> slovakia from slovakia yeah. he'll be can play anywhere on top and uh Hopefully one of these can make a really big difference for us this season. He has some good uh, ability and uh, his potential looks kind of good, so basically we're going to use him. Next we have Dean Garaya, so I'm going to be a real pervert. <laughs> He'll be playing a right back and second back for us. I think he's going to be our main right back this season, but if anything happens, he'll also be playing both play him at center back if he's really good. Uh-huh. Yeah, next. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. We have behind Timothy. Yeah, so can I do 21 year old from England? I'll be able to play a right back, center back, defensive midfield, and at the right side of the field if needed. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to see more of him this season. We have three to two, 20 years old from England. Good to play a left back, center back. I was thinking of putting him as left in the field, but I'd rather maybe just try and keep it as it is because we won't most likely be using it for, for a formation that will require the left and right fielders, although if we do need it, we will do it. Next we have Tony Basil. <laughs> he actually has kind of, kind of around um, right? well, a round face on line, but he will most likely be playing first at attacking the field. We will still be able to play out wide in case it's still good there. Um, next we have Justin Abubis. Um, he is still from Nigeria, like we all are. Actually. Um, I actually wanted to be that at least one member of the team was actually still from Nigeria, although the rest of us were still from other countries. And this was randomly selected by you, actually. And so Justin. <laughs> Hopefully he can represent this one. Next we have Chinemeze Anthony who will be able to play for us in the central of the field and at the right side of the field. Although maybe once in a while it takes for example something crazy happens, he will still be able to play on the right side. He's just even years old so he can still improve the world man. Next we have Igor Brian who will basically be playing for us on the left side. I will back him to the field. I won't necessarily be playing him at center back, but I just thought it would be good to have him as an option to play there. You know? He's 21 years old in the world. Next we have a Susan Chibutan. So he's basically going to be like our tank engine in the midfield. Yeah, so he's going to play a lot for us in the midfield. And you basically be a star man in the midfield this season. Yeah, 19 years old, so we can improve the whole lot. Unless we have HD Kachida. He's basically, I think, I think he's our best defender, bro. I'm not sure. Yeah, but uh, he looks to play a left back and turn him back, so hopefully we will to use him. Um, to know, so I want to take note that most of the squad is still very, very young, so I was actually um, going with the youth in this team, basically, so hopefully. The team can grow and like we can hopefully make to the Premier League and like build up from there. Next we have uh, Omadi Achibima who is actually from Scotland together with um, Akiri. Yeah, he built to be on the left and through the middle and attacking the I didn't want to put him up as a striker because I thought that we already have good options there and I just didn't want to like kind of overload it. But if we ever need him to be a striker, we can still train him there. Um, we have Aniko Chibben, so he's one, I think, of the three or four good options that are right back. Yeah, so we are going to have the right back and our spread. Yeah. So hopefully, I hope it's still there for us. Next, we have Square <laughs> Bukat, watch it, who for some reason has <laughs> orange hair. Yeah, <laughs> so many went. He actually has four stars which is actually kind of surprising 
yeah, yeah this poster is a little bit respectful and then you don't know and actually don't put them as a can because actually you you never please that protect the feeling score so i think that's that that's the squad if i didn't include anyone i'm sorry about that because i kind of can try to do this like text they do so um, if i didn't please message me or put in comment below so that i'll basically be able to get to you guys and let you guys know if i'll be able to put you guys in the game so that we can all play and play the game hopefully you've enjoyed this introductory video don't forget to like subscribe and share and i will see you next time okay bro. goodbye